Hello everyone, we're excited to be here with you as team SE2335 from Jana Gherke and Dilara. Today we'll be sharing important events about national liberation struggle of Kazakh people against the colonial policies of the Russian Empire. Today we'll uncover the story behind the Russian Imperial colonization of Kazakh lands, the brave resistance of Kazakh people against it, and the lasting impact of this chapter on today's Kazakhstan. The reason for the colonization of Kazakh Hanate, Russian sought to dominate important trade routes uh, passing through uh, the territory of Kazakh Hanate, seeking aids against uh, the Jungar Hanate, Abul Khair Khan expressed interest uh, in alliance with uh, Russian Empire. The nego negotiation uh, conducted by the involves uh, of Abul Khair Khan led to the subordination of the Kazakh junior hordes to Russian. Uh, the Orenburg Commission in 1744 oversaw the building of forts and uh, expansion to trade, expansion of trade roads to strengthen Russian control. Abul Khair Khan's efforts to unite the Kazakh Khanates post <coughs> a treat uh, of uh, a treat to Russian interests. Abul Khair Khan's death in 1748 increased Russian dominance in the Kazakh lands. Sramdatula, a prominent leader of the Baibakta clan, spearhead um, Kazakh uprising the junior Jews from 1783 uh, to 1797. The uprising was driven by Sharwa, uh, elders P, and rural leaders due to the weakening Hanate and authority and Russian colonization, uh, starting after clashes with Kazakhs in 1784. In 1785, Khan Rali was deposed for perceived betrayals and eagle storm reform uh, through restructured governance was proposed but not fully implemented. During the uh, 1790s, the uprising continued amid internal betrayals and failed uh, fortress attacks. However, after Khan assumed death in 1797, uh, the rebellion demonized and uh, the defeat was mainly due to the internal conflicts, political ties and organizational weakness. Eventually, in 1801, Kazakh were permitted to migrate to the right bank of the Ural River. Tata Iman Ola Mohamed Utimo Solo led uprising in the Kazakh steeps near the Volga and Ral rivers in the south near the Caspian Sea. The 1837-1838 uprising was against the rule of Khan of Bukhay Khor Jangir and the Russian government's harsh policies. The uprising aimed to reduce the Khan's power, improve the lives of Kazakh villagers, and change land policies to benefit the Kazakh people. Key events included Battle of Tirekukum, the siege of the Khan's home, and defeat at Astubia, November um, 1837. Uh, the uprising weakened due to government pressure and some tribal uh, leaders siding with the Han. Also, uprising was defeated. Uh, it has positive effects. The early tax increase for the Han uh, and his relatives was stopped. Uh, the Russian government listened to Kazakh village elders and Kazakh Han's power weakened, uh, and the Russian government considered ending the Han's authority in the inner horde. Sarah Hasimov, a noble from the Kazakh Middle Horde, uh, was a key leader in the 19th century rebellion against Russian uh, imperial rule. His uprising spanning from the 1837 to 1847, rebellion aimed to protect Kazakh sovereignty and traditional way of life uh, from Russian influence through opposition to policies like taxation and conscription. Uh, revolt dis disrupted ra Russian control in Kazakh. Uh, Kahanate, uh, Hanate, uh, gaining support among uh, Kazakh tribes despite challenges. It highlights uh, that Kazakh re resilience and hinders uh, Russian expansion. Uh, Kasimov captures in 1847 ended uh, the rebellion, leading to his uh, exile to Siberia. Despite not fully expelling Russian forces, the ups, uh, uprising symbolized Kazakh uh, resistance and is integral to Kazakh identity. 
national liberation struggle. In 1916, an edict by the Russian Emperor sought to mobilize up to 400,000 Kazakh men for defensive work, triggering widespread discontent. The radical intelligentsia, including figures like Trangaldin and Sifulin, organized armed resistance against this policy. In contrast, the privileged Kazakh elite supported it, while the liberal intelligentsia like Alihan Bukihanov sought compromise for most uh, alternative mobilization methods. The Turgai Uprising emerges as the largest and most organized rebellion involving up to 50,000 rebels led by Abdulkov Arjan Vosinov and Amangildin Manov. Despite its discipline, internal organization and professional level tactics, the uprising failed due to its spontaneous nature, weak organization and lack of equipment. It continued until 1917 and emerged the February Revolution. The uprising was national liberating, anti-colonial and anti-imperialist. The uprising awakened Kazakh national con consciousness um, highlighting the determination for freedom, independence, and reviving the idea of ethnic statehood. The colonization of Kazakhstan by the Russian Empire resulted in Kazakhs losing their lands to Russian settlers, disrupting traditional nomadic lifestyle. This resulted in strained Russia-Kazakh relations, mass dispossession, and the breakdown of traditional structures. The rise of Russian language led to lingualism, threatening the preservation of the Kazakh language. The uprisings fuel Kazakh nation consciousness and resistance against colonization, laying the groundwork for independence movement and strengthening Kazakh identity. In our opinion, these events were pivotal in Kazakhstan's struggle for independence, leaving a lasting impact on its history. We should never forget the events that paved the way for our nation's freedom and sovereignty, reminding us of the importance of our independence. Uh, today, uh, Kazakhstan faces the uh, enduring consequences of colonization, striving uh, to reclaim its national identity and other economic imbalances resulting from land relocation.